Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Um, I'm doing. Uh, I can't tell if this is the hormones from me uh, dropping weight or is it just because like <laughs> I'm a nut job. Like I can't tell. Uh, it's, it's not. Ugh. I uh, came across. Dang it! Wish I had a napkin. Uh, I came across uh, the Greatest Showman um, song today on on Facebook. It just it just popped up on my Facebook, which is not untypical of YouTube. Yeah, I mean Facebook. And of course, you know, uh, it piqued my interest because I love musicals. Like so, I was like, hmm, hmm, well, perhaps so. Um, this woman, uh, this was one of the first songs that that like this woman like really um you could tell that she was super nervous and that she was super scared to like come out behind the podium and like sing this song and it struck me so hard like it struck me in a place that I didn't even know was alive like that's how hard this song struck me and um I kind of I lost it like I lost it and then I posted it on Facebook and then I was like I was curious when this movie was coming out and it's already out right now but I don't want to watch it without my husband so I pre-ordered it for us on uh, Google Play and then you know I played the trailer and everything and of course once again I lose my shit <laughs> and unfortunately for my husband I leave him a, a horrifically sobbing mess of a message that uh, I pre-ordered us a movie and how much I miss him and that, you know, I wish we could watch this together right now in theaters, but we can't because that's something that me and him really like to do. Hey guys, so what you're about to watch was really hard for me to upload to you guys, but I think it's important for you to see exactly who I am. This is the essence of being raw with my husband just pre-ordered us a movie and i think i'm fucking crazy uh just <laughs> musical typical wife hi i'm gonna run and lost my mind <laughs> i missed you miss you and we're gonna love this movie and I wish I could go see it right now with you but I can't so I pre-ordered it instead <laughs> so when it comes out we can both watch it together <laughs> I love you so much <laughs> we'll be together soon my love but right now that's not a possibility and this is one of those things that's really hard for just for me is not being able to experience some things with him but the wonderful world of the internet you know when this is released i refuse to watch it or spoilers about it or anything like that um I, I bought the soundtrack because that's what I do. I buy, I, I buy musical soundtracks. So I'm already going to know all the words to the songs because I've already memorized like three of them this morning. But that's not the point. That ain't the damn point. Now, don't, don't you judge me. I do what I want. But I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> so that's, all, that's all the point there really is to that is that I, don't judge me. But like I cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and like every song that keeps coming from the soundtrack, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. I'm like, golly, the hell is wrong with me? And of course, you know, I can't, I can't tell if it's just I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs as my normal usual self, or if it's the, you know, probably the hormones from um, my body letting go of some more fat. Like <laughs> maybe, maybe a damn good mixture of the both. And I do know that I have to have my Wellbutrin and my, my Lamictal upped um, because I notice a change in my, my I don't want to say mental status. I notice that I'm becoming a little more unstable. 
like I wasn't before. Focus, Nirvana. Please. Please. You must have focus. You must have focus. I always look so attractive like this. Like when I'm half crying and, and completely just mostly out of it. So I know that I got to get my my shit together because I'm only eight days out of surgery and like today I'm like okay well I can get a thousand steps in and I'm like so in the shower I'm like walking in the shower and I'm like why are you doing that and I'm like blood clots yeah 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 blood clots I, I don't want to get blood clots like you did yeah I mean, that's that's one of the number one killers after a weight loss surgery and if you didn't know that you know that now blood clots Deep vein thrombosis. If you don't know what that is, oh, deep vein thrombosis after surgeries is one of the biggest things you should worry about is, you know, inactivity. And I hate inactivity. <laughs> There's, I spent so many times, so many times, there were times, I spent so much time in a wheelchair and with this cranes. I am tired of being inactive. I'm tired of... Yeah, I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm gonna try to hold it, but it's not gonna happen. So the floodgates are coming. Expect it. And if you don't like it, I'll click off this right, right about now. I'm tired of losing out on life. I'm tired of hiding behind the podium. I'm tired of trying to fit in. I don't fit in, and I am different, and it's okay. And it's okay for you not to fit in. Because you will find people that love you just for you. You will find people that will see your flaws as something amazing. Damn it, I love you people. Like it's <laughs> You will find people. You will find people who love you just the way you are. You will find people who are out there who are just like you. And you don't have to cut yourself down. And you don't have to put yourself in a box. And you don't have to make yourself anything you don't want to be. To try to fit in to somebody else's idea of who you should be. And I think that's why that song struck me so hard is because that's what I've always done either I've hid myself away or I've tried to make myself into something society wants me to be and I can't do that anymore and I refuse to do that anymore Life is hard enough as it is and short. And there's so many times I didn't want to even be in it. And I found so many things over the last four years to live for. And it doesn't involve Matthew. And it doesn't involve anything else but the wonderful, beautiful thing that is me. And that's something that you need to remember. You can't live for other people. As much as I love to say that he's my universe and my everything, if he died tomorrow, I would still have to find a way. I would still have to find a way to carry on. I would still have to find a way to keep moving. I would still have to find reasons to keep breathing. Because, damn it, life is so fucking short and so many of us don't get near enough of it. So I'm not squandering mine anymore. And you shouldn't either. Step out behind the podium. Be who you are. Love yourself if you're different. Love yourself because you're different. Embrace your flaws. Because I am. This is me. 
I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday. I actually knew what day it was. I looked it up. <laughs> and I will talk at you again tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.